doing some additional coil passator experiments. Um, what we have here are two coil passators. Um, they're roughly equivalent. One of them, however, is wired um, counterclockwise, and the other one is tips up, uh, tipped upside down, so it's wired clockwise. Um, coming out of the ignition coil, I'm going to uh, uh, feed into the, uh, both of these. Um, and then they're both uh, connected onto the CFLs and ground. And then um, I have a, a meter here, different meter, that will measure the voltage, the AC voltage drop between the two cylinders. Now these cylinders are um, basically two capacitors that are char uh, charging up and they will have a potential difference between the two. Um, and uh, it may be expressed in terms of an AC current, so I'm going to measure that AC current on the meter here. So I'll turn this on. Okay, now I've changed the experiment. So no longer will it uh, sort of spark gap down to that pin and off to the CFLs. Instead, we're just wiring up the coil so that the current will just flow through the coils, no sparking. And we will try this and measure the voltage, if any. So now we have um, it running. The CFLs are lighting. We're just uh, running the current through the two coils, one clockwise, the other cl counterclockwise, uh, AC currents, and we measure a AC current flow between the two copper cylinders of around 7 volts. Okay, back to the spark gap configuration. Um, I realized, uh, you know, measuring a potential difference is interesting, but um, really there should be a load between the two cylinders. So I've added a 50 ohm resistor and now the voltage won't appear very dramatic because now we have a current flow through the resistor. But um, uh, So it's hard to get the spark gaps exactly the same but um, I have it set up here uh, and we can observe something interesting. Just a little bit. Turning the frequency over here, by the way.
And now just for due diligence, um, I've uh, reversed this coil so that the the high voltage leads come in, comes in the bottom. These coils were op wired oppositely in terms of counterclockwise, clockwise, but having the lead come in the bottom will make uh, the electrons spin in the same direction on both coils now. And the question is, do we see an electric? Do we see a AC voltage between the two cylinders? I'm going to adjust this here. And the answer is we do, and it's pretty much the same.